Hello, thanks for watching another random palm reading. Uh, so I've been sent the left and right hands here of a person's palm. I know nothing about this person uh, other than they are one of my subscribers. They've sent this uh, pic two pictures of their uh, left and left and right hands to me via email, and uh, no particular question. Um, just uh, just um, well, a question around sort of guidance, where to go from here. I don't know how old this person is, uh, I just know that they are a male, and that's it. So, I might get this completely wrong, but I'm going to say what the hands say. And now if we look, if you compare the little fingers here, on the left palm, the little finger doesn't, it just about reaches the f first phalanx of Apollo. And if we look on the right you can see it reaches past the first phalanx of Apollo. I thought that was interesting. Uh, so instantly we can see this person's ability to uh, get their message across has improved. They've developed uh, an ability to ex express. And, you know, it could be also their ability. Their, um, they've learned. Mercury is its um, skills and, um, you know, business acumen, uh, academia, it's learning, it's memory, it's mathematics, it's language, it's communication and expression uh, first and foremost. But it's important not to get too uh, hooked on those. I've seen a long mercury finger on someone who's very unable to speak. So it's important to understand that there's much more to the mercury finger than just speaking. So it's interesting to see the self-development de self and Let's see if we can determine, uh, you know, more specifically what sort of self-development in this sort of area uh, this person has made. Also, the first things I kind of notice, and they're always things that I, I like to sort of take note of and investigate further. With this palm in particular, the tips of the fingers are all very pronounced and well-developed, a little bit bulbous. They're conic, but they are... You know, they're very sort of enlarged, and that's typical of someone who's um, very spiritual, very ideas-driven, very mentally focused, and their thumb is superb because it shows that they have lots of ideas and ability to uh, put those into action because we've got equal... Uh, you know, logic is slightly l longer than willpower, but this is a good shape and size thumb, and in comparison to the rest of the fingers and the rest of the palm as well, the angle of it, this is all good. Now, looking at the palm itself, it's interesting because we have a spatulate palm, but it's a broad topped spatulate palm. And what I mean by that is that normally when I say spatulate, uh, it's the base of the palm. The, the, a broad-tipped um, broad spatulate palm is more uncommon. So if you look here, and you can only just see it, it's only just so. But the top of the palm, where the palm meets the fingers, is wider than the base only just but it's sort of you can sort of see how it fans out slightly it's only just there and it's more so in the right palm than the left so this shows how what what this uh, broad topped spatula palm means in a person's palm is they are more mentally focused they're more engaged and encouraged and motivated by mental stimuli by their very ideas driven as i've already said they're they're more driven by learning and ideas of uh theories and uh you know it's they're more driven by their their, their mind activities than their physical activities They're more driven by learning and ideas and um, and absorbing information rather than uh, you know gaining um, 
popularity and you know because we don't see uh you know it's not a swollen lunar and pluto you know neptune as well is sort of reasonable and venus doesn't look uh, too swollen as well but up here we see a bit more going on and so this is a person who is much more uh, focuses on what they can gain up here than uh, you know anything else they're, they're not materialistically minded they're more focused on uh, enlightenment and what they can learn and spirituality and learning you know uh, skills as well so it's more than they're obviously an intelligent person and you can see that by the length of the thumb as well that's a big indicator now I don't like the word intelligence because there's there's many different types of intelligence and there's many different ways the palm represents those many different types of intelligences in the palm so I don't like to just throw that word out there but uh, what I do mean is this person has a good ability to absorb uh, and soak up information. Their IQ is high. IQ is is only one of several different types of intelligence in the, in um, in psychology. So this person has a high IQ. Their headline is straight, which shows a level-headed person. In in ancient Rome, emperors. Um, you know, people like Caesar, he had a very good understanding of palmistry, so it said they would look for in their commanders a person with a headline as straight as this, as straight as a table that you could, um, you know, that uh, a coin would stop on so they wouldn't keep rolling. And, and the reason for that is because if they're so level headed, they're not going to be governed by their emotions, they're not going to be nervous or scared they'll do what's right they'll do what's needed to be done in the moment they'll think rationally they're good military strategists and that's uh you know they they make for good strategists in in the heat of the moment because they're level-headed quite literally and and that's what this person is here we see someone who is able to uh, differentiate um you know sort of uh, emotional um logic from you know facts from fiction they're able to uh, separate their emotions when making uh, judgment calls in the heat of the moment so there we go i'm not very good at explaining this also the heart line as well is on the straight side so a heart line that kind of curves upwards drastically towards saturn like this is someone who is quite sort of basic in their emotional desires and physical desires as well they are their love language is quite physical and they are aroused by visual stimuli you know this and it's quite more common in men than women so a heart line that's straighter like this is someone who is more uh stimulated by uh in in terms of their love life by complex psychological stimuli they they re, they require someone who is um much more i suppose what i'm trying to say is this person values uh someone who is intelligent rather than uh, physically attractive in in a partner that that's that's more where this goes there a person with a straighter heart line is more aroused by psychological stimuli than visual stimuli or, or physical stimuli. They're much, they're much more complex people and they require you know, a good understanding from others in these respects as well. But also a straighter heart line shows someone again that's uh, very emotionally stable so they're mentally and emotionally stable this is a grounded individual we've obviously got a fire hand here with a rectangular palm and you know i wouldn't say short fingers though they're not altogether long bit of a mixed palm really because it's spatulate but only just and with conic fingers there's no clear sort of definitive category this person fits in i would say just about a fire hand though and as I say, very grounded uh, individual probably says what needs to be said 
and you know I'm picking up as a little a few things here as we go along. I think this person is all for truth and honesty, integrity. They are honourable, and I say that because of a few things. Partly because of the the way the tips are so pronounced and well developed. This person's, you know, focused on the higher meaning of things. But also because on both hands, the lifeline stems from the Jupiter Mount. This is an excellent sign because it, it really shows a great deal about this person's nature. They are an honourable, noble person. They have um, high expectations of themselves in terms of what they can achieve and their uh, expectancy of, of, of themselves and their own self-discipline. Saturn is not completely long, so I wouldn't have thought this person is uh, of a sort of negative disposition, and I think they kind of have their own mind made up about how the world is run and should be run, they're a bit of a truth seeker, and I think they have an idea as to what they want to achieve and how that needs to happen. And I think they will, but at the moment they're not feeling like this is possible. And I say, I've been looking at this palm a little bit before doing this, and I've picked up on a few things, and that's why I've, I'm saying these things, and I'm not really showing it here. But on the left palm, there's two lines on the third phalanx of Jupiter, and this shows ambitions that is, is a great sign. It shows ambitions that will... Um, be achieved and they will gain some sort of uh, notoriety from others they will be considered as honorable and it's the mark of an individual who has the ability to become successful in their aims whatever those aims might be and in this person's case i believe that you know they're they're more honorable and less materialistically inclined than uh normal most most people's ambitious uh you know ambitions are to become successful or wealthy or famous um but this person has slightly different aspirations and the fact that we see it on um and i'll show you we see it on the left palm here, and although it's not altogether, you know, it's not incredibly strong, one line is stronger than the other, and we don't see it on the right palm so much, it's not as clear. So this shows that this person um, it was visible on the left and it's not so vi visible on the right. So this shows that this person has uh, kind of relinquished their desires for material gain, and they're more focused on, as, I, as I've already stated, uh, gaining higher knowledge, and uh, they feel that their purpose um, has has shifted slightly from, you know, it's, it's more around um, gaining enlightenment than, and, and something a bit more honourable, something a bit less tangible and more spiritual and this is also evident in where the headline ends as well because and it might be difficult to see it here but the headline ends slightly lower it's pointing slightly more into Luna on the right hand and this shows how this person uh, has changed their way of thinking their psychological outlook has changed, their sights have changed, so they're thinking less about money. If we had a headline that ended up in uh, outer Mars up here, this would be more in an, a, a place of uh, planning, you know, thinking about the future and security and finances. So the fact that it's aimed less in this area and more down into a place of imagination uh, and ideas and creativity um a place a bit more unconscious a bit more because it's the left is the ulnar side of the palm it's a bit more in the realms of the unconscious it, it, it suggests this person is seeking um again you know they're seeking in a slightly different area than they were originally also an interesting thing is the headline does begin quite high up on the palm 
And again, you know, it's, it's almost onto Jupiter on the left there. And again, this is someone who is quite sort of materialistically minded, but notice the shift. You know, it, it that mind, that mentality takes, uh, it takes a, it turns a sort of corner there and heads in a completely different direction after the ages of uh, sort of early 20s. There's a profound experience and event here that occurs at this time for this person in their life, and it changed, completely changed them as a person. And from about the age of 27, there's an excellent effort line there that reaches up towards uh, the Mercury Mount where skills were gained uh, at this time. And whatever those skills are, they put them to good use. And it's interesting for me because the left hand, one of the big differences between the left and the right hand in this case is the career line or the fate line, as it's sometimes called. So we can see here that it stems on the left palm from Luna and it shoots up towards Saturn, which shows a desire to work in the public eye in some way or to work with others, for others. Uh, often people who uh, want to help others have this sign uh, and often just people who have uh, you know, an aspiration to work for an audience of some sort, as I say, the public eye. So it could be this person has, you know, the headline here does reach into a place of creativity. Um, we've got some signs here of uh, creativity with, you know, just how well developed the tip of Apollo is here as well. So it could be that these are all signs of someone who has uh, artistic and creative skills and they they had hoped to put these into practice into some sort of career but the right hand shows a slightly different story so just looking at the right hand here we can see that the career line it, it you know it's a it's a completely different tale altogether it's it's right in the middle of the palm and it cut kind of cuts the palm in half and it if this fate line uh, had completely cut this arm in half without any interruption without any change in path in its course I would say this person um, you know potentially has little control over their own fate it seems that there's a few things going on here it might be that they had followed in their sort of family footsteps the 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 they've taken over the family business instead of uh carried out their original desires to work in this 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 um role of working with an audience or for others so that's interesting we've got uh a few other things going on here notice how um around the age of 30s early 30s perhaps we've got the lifeline it takes a different course it moves over you know it sort of duplicates it moves over so for a little while it's doubled which shows that this person's putting out great efforts in order to um, meet the needs um, at home perhaps and at the same time you know saying that we have got lots of influences and obstacles from the home life. So I'm not sure if this person was supporting someone at home and had to take up a separate job as a result. That could be what's going on here. But also it could be this person has moved home and I think it might be relocated because it's it's is what carries on. And also it, the lifeline reaches towards Luna Yes, it's a place of crea creativity and imagination, but it's also uh, a place of restlessness and travel. And when lines reach towards this place, it's a escape. And uh, sometimes that's to improve our lives. And that could be what happened here, but it, it didn't happen overnight. I think for a, a period of years, this person had a second job, perhaps. And there was quite an impactful event that occurred around this time. You know, perhaps 20, 
nine, I don't know, or early thirties. And this person had to pick up a second job. You can see the two careers. There's a second career that takes off here and it's in a slightly different direction. And it's it's hard to say what this is. And and at the same time, you know, this one, this original career is affected because it takes a different course. It sort of meanders slightly, which shows that there was difficulty to carry out the role. Um, and perhaps, you know, their role changed slightly, that same role. You know, maybe they went sort of down to part time or, you know, went from being a supervisor to just working on the floor, something like that. It's hard to know exactly what this person does as a job, but I would say that they are pretty good with their hands as well as their mind. Yes, they are um, academically well endowed, but also there's a good degree of uh, proficiency with the hands as well shown there. So this second role, uh, the second job is actually what takes over after a while. And there is a need to protect. And I've been struggling to figure out exactly what this means from early 40s onwards. And I think this is this is in the left hand as well. I don't know how old this person is, as I say, but it could be a health issue could be an emotional issue and this person requires support from the family at this time because as I say there's lots of family support I think this person has whoops uh, good uh, connections you know the strong sort of family person because of all of the the uh, support they receive and you know of the just the sheer amount of influence from the family and sometimes, at sometimes these are also obstacles. So, you know, it's give and take, isn't it? We're here for them and they're here f for us. But this uh, square here is an excellent sign because it's showing a, a sign of protection at, at, at the time that it's, it's required. It could be, as I say, uh, a need to protect emotions. But it also, it could be a heart issue. I'm not entirely certain. And the reason why I say that is because bulbous tipped fingers are that's a terrible example but you get the point just looking at them uh they are sometimes a sign of you know you can see how it kind of they splay outwards there just at the first phalange and after that they're quite sort of bold it's a sign of p potential heart issues cardiac issues there is a slight sort of girdle of venus but there's no proper indication of heart issues uh, otherwise except for an island here and again that could be an emotional issue I'm inclined to think that it's more health related because the health line or the mercury line or intuition line whatever you like it does point towards it it does sort of hint at the possibility of um, a health issue at that time, uh, yep, yeah, it could it could well be that around the ages of early forties, right up into this person's fifties, there is a need to um, relax a bit more and look after the heart. No stress from this time onwards. And also, there is some long distance travel. later on in life which coincides with this and with this so the career this person and i'm kind of coming full circle a little bit here and i'm, I'm grateful to do that in my own mind because i feel like i've been uh, not doing a great job here the career line look how yes we've got this one option up here but we've also got this over here and we're coming full circle because this this person's uh, sensible and um, their sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Their sense of judgment and their overall sense of honesty. 
So we've got the career line. It takes this, this path more towards the area of uh, Jupiter, the Jupiter Mount here, and it's this place of authority, yes, of ambition and ego and decision-making, but also of judgment or authority, and, uh, and it does tie in with decision-making as well. People who gain uh, roles of power generally are employed because of their abilities to make the right decisions and often that's based on character as well as experience and this person is as i say they are of a kind of an honorable uh, truth truthful and truth seeking nature and i think they're quite as I, as i think i've said before i think they're quite a sort of positive disposition i think they're quite a, a, you know they come across as quite a decent character anyway So the experiences that we have, as well as our character and the things we've learned, obviously they make us employable for certain roles. And I believe that this person will have a role in their 60s that's of quite a sort of high uh, authoritative, you know, role, a position of some sort of power, but not so much power, but more uh, respect and you know, we have here, and this is early, this is early on, this is a a trauma line or a stress line, and it's connected to the life. So something occurred in this person's life when they were very young that has stayed with them and has affected them emotionally, perhaps, or even physically, it's hard to say. It could be that you know, this was an operation, they were operated on at this time, and it's affected them, their uh, emotional makeup. Um, or it could be that they had, you know, gone through some sort of traumatic time, and it's affected them. And, and these things, they stay with us, and we learn from them, and we keep revisiting them, they shape us and make us who we are. And interestingly, if I just keep that there, and, you know, in connection with this, um, the life starting on uh, the Jupiter Mount, this is showing someone who has the desire to, and the ability to rise in life, which this also shows up here. This is how we're coming full circle. In connection with this uh, awful uh, episode that occurred during their 20s that uh, affected all areas of their life, this is highly impactful. It's taught them a great deal. And it's provided them with this experience uh, to pass on information and counsel in some sort of way. It's, it's provided them with an emotional wisdom. And so here we kind of have this square that's built up, uh, not completely on the Jupiter Mount, but it also it's you know, we've got Jupiter here, this place of authority and ambition and decision making. And then we've got Saturn, which is this place of um, being upstanding and, and hard work and planning and time and doing what's necessary. So we've got a square here that's kind of in between the both. And yes, squares are protective, but a square on the Jupiter Mount shows an ability. It shows the desire to soak up information and pass it on. Because it's both, um, it's it's both sort of decision making and um, authority combined. So it kind of creates what is you know known in all the palmistry textbooks as a teacher square. It's not quite on the Jupiter Mount, so it's a mixture of both. So this person could well become some sort of guidance guidance counselor in some way, some sort of advisor. And when we look down here. On the Venus Mount, we also see, and it's not completely isolated, we've got a nice little triangle here, and this is as a result of um, an event that occurs in this person's close to home that their ability to understand people and their, you know, they, they understand people on an emotional level 
they are able to govern and guide in this in this matter and around this sort of time in their kind of where are we looking at sort of late 50s which is this same time up here this is you know where this is required and there's a bit of moving away that goes uh, travel uh, that, that occurs at this time and this person gains a lot of wisdom through it and uh, enlightenment and and develops this ability to um, express at this time as well so their happiness will come through um, in passing the experience and knowledge that they've learned but how best to heal the healer when you know who helps the help and that might be this person's one of this person's sort of conundrums in life there does come a time when this person will need to concentrate on themselves and take a bit of time away and um, I highly recommend meditating in a low stress uh, you know lifestyle environment I mean it's easy to say that anyone can say that for anyone but particularly around uh, looking after this person's you know their heart in in you know as I say the early 40s to mid 50s avoid dairy milk in particular at this time as well so you know I think I've said all I can really in terms of uh, a reading for this person here so I'm going to end it there but uh, it was it was a fascinating read this one and the, the last little thing I want to point out which is how this person has changed over time and that's the little finger notice how it leans in quite quite uh, sharply at the tip there on the left hand but it doesn't do it as much on the right and in this case it's it's diplomacy it's tact this person is sensitive to other people's feelings and needs and that's also shown here um, the way the uh, logic and ideas and thoughts kind of narrow there slightly this person has a good ability to counsel others. You know, they're grounded emotionally, mentally, and, uh, and you know, and they're truth seeking. So, but the 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 fact that they they kind of they changed in the way that they express themselves. So I think that they used to. It's like Mercury relies on. Apollo, particularly the tip there, and that's quite a spatulate tip. And combined with the, where the career line was, perhaps this person used to do something with their hands. It was very sort of creative, and that's how they expressed themselves. But now they're seeking a completely different uh, lifestyle and career, and their, their aims have changed, perhaps. It's hard to say. I'm not. I'm being a bit vague here. What exactly this change is 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 hard to say. But they're more aligned now. They're more. They feel more self. There's more uh, a feeling of self discovery around how this person expresses and communicates um, their message, and their their finding their message is is not yet complete. Their quest is not quite yet over. So thank you for watching this reading. I hope it's made sense. I hope you've learned from it. And if you would like your palm read, please email me clear pictures of your palms like this one. This is, this is exactly what I need. But please note, you know, I have about a dozen readings outstanding at any one time. So the, the wait might be anywhere between three to four weeks at the moment. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm loving all of the comments and all of the interaction on this channel and all the attention. It's uh, it's hugely, um, you know, it, it, it's so nice to see uh, and it's working out far better than I, I could have hoped. I'm learning a lot and I'm hoping that I'm passing on a lot of this information and that it's being received well. What I really value about doing these readings is people's feedback um the last lady i did a private reading for which is not publicized on here she said my reading was 90 percent accurate and she told me all of the things i got wrong which weren't many 
but it was it, I value that. I really value that because it, it allows me to see where I'm going wrong and how better to be, uh, you know, how to be a better palmist. And that's that's crucial for me. I'm not going to learn unless I know where I'm going wrong and uh, and sort of reevaluate. And there's always room for improvement. So thanks you, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments and subscriptions. And I'll see you on the next one.